this is the solution to written homework 43. Okay, so in the first place, the natural domain is all x. Because that's just a polynomial, there's no divisions, there's no radicals, so there's nothing that could go wrong. Uh, so, 2. Now we can actually perform some algebra. Algebraic steps. So, uh, I can see that among the coefficients, 6 is the greatest common factor, and among the x's, we can factor out x cubed. So, 6 x cubed can be factored out, so then what remains will be x squared and then plus 9 equal to 0. So because that's the product of two things equal to 0, the possibility is split. Either the first thing, 6x cubed is 0, or the second thing, x squared plus 9 is equal to 0. So as for the first one, the only possibility here is that x is 0, or for this other one, x squared could be negative 9. So if it said x squared was positive 9, the two possibilities would be negative 3 and positive 3, but because it says x squared is negative 9, we wouldn't be able to do that in the reals, but it says that we're going to do it in complex. So 3i and negative 3i both square to negative 9. So the possibilities are x is 0 or x is negative 3i. or x is positive 3i. Okay, for this one, the natural domain, well, we need the argument to the radical to be non-negative, so it must be the case that x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so let's make this clear here, so this, greater than or equal to 1, okay, so then <clears throat> 2, to actually do some algebraic steps, well, we can square both sides. So we're going to have to square both sides uh, because we've got to get the x's out of that radical. But because we're squaring both sides and squaring both sides is not truth preserving, that means we're going to have to come back and check uh, all of our answers as a result of having done that. So then that will be x minus 1 is equal to x squared minus 14x plus 49. And so now moving everything to the other side. 0 is x squared minus 15x uh, plus 50. So can we think of two numbers whose product is positive 50 and whose sum is negative 15? Sure. How about x minus 5? x minus 10. <clears throat> so the solutions are x is 5 and x is 10. Okay. So they're both in the natural domain. So that's good. Now we need to check the original equation. So I'll 
I'll check X is 5. Checking X is 5, that gives the square root of 5 minus 1 equal to 5 minus 7. So the square root of 5 minus 1, that's square root 4 equal to negative 2. So that's 2 equal to uh, negative 2. So is this, is this equation true? No, it's false. However, notably, notably that equation becomes true if you square both sides, which is the danger of having done that. So we'll check the other solution, 10. So square root 10 minus 1 is 10 minus 7. So square root 9 is 3, so 3 is 3, and that's true. So the conclusion. is, uh, so I said, I said true and I wrote false, so that's true, is that x equal to 10 is the only solution. That's the answer.